Here it is going now, guys. Talk Nerd City here, back for another match day experience. I hope you guys are all doing fantastically well. As you can see, a sunny day outside. I think the last home game was beautifully sunny. The last away game at Villa, it rained. It always rains at Villa. Um, but yeah, it does still feel like a pre-season, doesn't it? It's sunny, nothing to play for. Um, slightly more positive today. I think we are actually going to win. I think at home, we can beat anyone in this league ex except for Leeds. Um, Preston and the other teams we've lost to um, but it's sunny I thought I'd just show you my typical match day planning morning because as you know here on Talk Norwich City we produce probably 10 videos on a match day so it's quite important that we well I <laughs> me uh, prepares everything uh, over the sort of two years of doing match day content I've got a decent formula that works for me so I basically get all my stuff out. So this is what is needed for fan cams. We've got a monopod, which makes it a lot easier and a lot less stressful on Chris's arms to hold this camera, which has these memory cards in, which are all formatted, they're all done. A microphone, which is a Zoom H1. I always get asked what that is, and then I have to sync the audio up post-match with the video. And then this is the thing that keeps me going. It's uh, a little 4G dongle. Um, basically, I buy data on it, and then I can upload on the go. I spend so much money on data. Um, it's not even funny, but there we go. Uh, and then I obviously take my laptop, which I edit all my videos on, which I stupidly forgot to charge overnight, so that's now charging, and then take my phone and stuff, and that's all good to go. So that's basically the equipment I take, and I obviously do my matchday experiences on this camera, which I'm recording on, which is a Canon G7X. I don't know if any of you actually care about that, but I, I always get some questions about what equipment I use and stuff, so I thought I'd run you through it. Anyway, as you can see, a beautiful day. Got some washing on the line. Um, now about to go to Norwich. I did say that I was gonna wear shorts uh, on my Twitter. I went out for a run this morning, it was beautifully warm, um, but now it's starting to cloud over, so have got the jeans on, kind of bottled it. Anyway, I'm now about to go to Chris's. He was out last night, so I'm expecting a very hungover and negative Chris Reeve, but here we go anyway. Let's do this. An operation was underway to recover the guns and explosives. I'm trying to be healthy. And Mum's bought these. Do I take them or don't I? No, I'm not going to do it. It's going to be healthy. Or bananas. Or fruit. No. I'm going to stick to it and not have any snacks today. I think. I'm not sure if this is great yarn for the Caribbean. Look at this weather. Spot the cloud. <laughs> Love it. The good thing with supporting Norwich City at the moment is you literally can't be disappointed now because we have hit an all-time low for Norwich City this season. We've lost to some truly horrendous sides. Losing today would be mediocre. We'd have to lose like 9-0 for me to be disappointed today. So I'm going there with very low expectations and whatever happens, I'm going to have a good day. Let's do this. <laughs> Beautiful. Just got the crisses and I'm starting to think I might have gone for the wrong attire from the jumper and jeans and it's like even warmer here than it is in the Caribbean like Great Yarmouth today. Look, still no clouds. Impressive stuff. Not an impressive outfit choice. Schoolboy. Okay, so Chris is here, and I had a special request on the Snapchat this morning to get Chris's thoughts on the pedestrianisation of Norwich City Centre. First of all, let's talk about the progress they've made. So here we go. This project has been going on for absolutely weeks now, and they've done a fantastic job. Do you know what they've done? They've built a one, two, three, four, five, eight layer. Do you know? How, do you know how hard a corner corner brick thing like that is, Chris? I don't think you appreciate the God, the artistry that's gone into this wall. It, I think you're actually being it's slightly disrespectful. It's a, it, no, this is an absolute joke. The, the council have tarnished small business in, in Norwich and all they're doing. I mean, what is this pathetic little circle there for no reason whatsoever? They've painted the wall there, that's nice. Jack, for God's sake, man. Do you work for. Is it, are you I, trying to get sponsorship? I know, from the I know what you should do. You should come move to, to, to Great Yarmouth, mate. <laughs> that's where dreams you know are. Yarmouth might be the place to be now because it's getting bad. City centre traffic. Anyway, that's your update. There we go. Pedestrianisation. By the way, what, what have you got there? Back on that health game. Well, I'm a bit, that to I'm a bit hungover. So, uh, 
invigorate today. Kiwi lime matcha Ooh. wheatgrass flaxseed. What is wheatgrass? I have no idea, mate, but I'm just drinking it. Nice. That'll invigorate you. Well, Look at this. Lovely. Spoons is packed. Lovely river. <laughs> Go on, Christopher, get your EVP bag. Right, what have you got in your goodie bag then? Okay. How much was it, first of all? Uh, only a quid. Well done. Oh, oh cute dog. Oh, he's a lovely dog. Lo lovely. I think that needs to be the, the cover for the yeah. experience. I like dogs. I do like dogs. I, I What's don't in like your bag? As well, as long as they're fat and furry. <laughs> um, I've got a Christmas edition of the Pinkin. Lovely. Great, well played, David Powell's editor. He's uh, smashing it there. Uh, Evening News and EDP. Why did you buy it? Only sweet chili. Why did I buy it? Because you're in it. We got a Kit Kat. Uh, I'll tell you, story, Kit -Kat in there. I'll tell you why. Four fingered not... Kit Kat. Love that, mate. I only buy this is quite cute, right? I only buy my art, my paper because of my article in it because my grandma lives in Colchester and I like to bring them to her to read. Yeah, that's really nice, isn't it? Yeah, no, that's lovely. Say so, that's lovely, isn't it? Yeah, it's beautiful. So, yeah, so there you go. Crisp chocolate, great deal. You know what? The, the Kit Kat is actually one of my favourite chocolate bars. Is it? Yeah. It's all about Yorkie. Kit mm. Kat's your favourite the, chocolate bar. Oh. There's chocolate on it. Yeah, but it's, oh, it's just a mixture. It's the perfect combo. <laughs> anyway. Leave us your comments. What's your yeah, favourite chocolate, favorite chocolate bar? bar? Let's do this. Stuart Weber effect is already in force. Got ice cream here today. Go on, Stuart. Love that. Love the Weber effect. Get the ice cream in. Go on, Ronaldo. Perfect. It's all about that ice cream, people. Ice cream on game day. Yes, please. Mm. Chris, what flavour do you go for? This is glistening in the sun. Norfolk raspberry mm. ice cream from, from Ronnie himself. And I have to say, you can taste that the raspberries from Norfolk. Yeah. Really tasty. Yeah, there's nothing like a Norfolk raspberry. In the winter, when you have to get your Spanish raspberries, nothing no, quite like it. No, not a Scottish fan. is nice, but Norfolk raspberries, oh, yes. But when you have to import your fruit in in the, in the winter, I'm just not about that life. I'm really not. Summer comes. It's actually a lot healthier if you eat vegetables when they're actually meant to be eaten. So, for example, sweet potatoes during the winter months. Did you know that? Yeah, I did. Thanks. There you go then. <laughs> <laughs> Right, oh, it's such a big day. Oh, you see We're so I know happy. it's just going to be spot by the football. Here's to a pointless game of football. Oh, I, love, I love pre season. I love pre season. <laughs> yeah, let's do that. <laughs> and eat ice cream. Pre season, great. It's the knowledgeable. What did you just say off camera? <laughs> oh, I just walked past the away section. <laughs> I thought, I forgot we were playing Reading today. <laughs> It's just weird, isn't it? I thought there was a football match. Who on. did you think we were playing? I didn't think we could get that. Well, it was pre season, so I was kind of hoping <laughs> for Barcelona or something, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a weird vibe around today. The sun's out, so everyone's happy, but I don't know. Weird vibe. Well, while, Bradley Stannon! How are you doing? Two Yeah? Didn't even ask you, but he's straight in. I love it. What's your score prediction? 1 0. Reading. Pinto double. Pinto double. You got a bet on it? No, I'm going. My dude, my dude. 3 1 Norwich. Stadden, enjoy the game, my friend. Do well. I'll see you at half time, Chris. Big game ahead. Got a huge game, massive game. Can't wait. Let's do this. I'll see you at half time. Half time. We are winning 6 1. <laughs> What is going on? What is going on? I don't have any words. Robson, 6 1. Yeah, mate. They're getting nice on the shot. I might just fall over in a minute. Stuart Weber, it's the Stuart Weber effect. I am genuinely in disbelief. The most crazy 45 minutes ever. Ever, surely. That we've watched a camera. It's the Weber revolution, my friend. It's just here. <laughs> the Weber revolution. Oh! It's time. Alex Pritchard, for all of you haters, no one hates Alex hello, Pritchard. Hello, hello. I told you, Alex Pritchard, what a player. What a player. Everyone is. Everyone. Oh, Russell Martin as well. Yeah. Giving it to this, he gave it that. I love it. Oh, your sonnies, I wondered what was happening there. I need to sit on the stands. Sit down, mate. I know, I bottled it. I bottled it. Don't bottle it. I bottled it. I bottled it. I said some crazy things in my time supporting Norwich City, but I think we're going to score 10 today. Mate, you're filming me. I don't know why. I think we're going to score 10. It is on, Robson. You don't. Going 8. 8-1, 8-1. Going 8. Are we going to get 10? We're going to lose. 7-6. That guy next to me is still negative. He's like, oh, why didn't they turn up like this all season? <laughs> I mean, rubbish. Come on, boys, get the 10. Get the 10. Where are the, the, the second half?
half. Hopefully we can get 10. I'll see you on full time. Hopefully another crazy second half in school. Go on, do this. It. Come on. Speechless. Game finished 7-1. <laughs> We're on our way. Oh, what a game, Jack. What a game. What? Relaxed. The sun is shining. The sunglasses are on. We've just won 7-1. I mean, today, days like today don't happen very often. The sun is shining. Becky brought us ice cream. Yeah. Shout out to Becky. I think that started the day. Yeah. I, actually, you know what? When oh, I tell you what, I think Becky might be the reason why we won 7-1. Yeah. When she turned up, she bought us ice creams. She's delivered. I'll tell you what, the players delivered today. They did deliver, especially Alex Pritchard. <laughs> you know what I think it is though? The ice cream, Becky, don't think it's that. I think it's the Stuart Webber revolution. Actually, let me say something slightly serious because we've been very sarcastic. Today, because the fans were extremely upbeat about everything, I kind of got the gist of there was actually some atmosphere today. Mm. We could actually kind of get behind the guys. We were on their lap and it just kept going. So yeah. it's really good. Anyway, brilliant win today. The sun is still shining. Sports club. There you go. Oh, yeah, I wondered why there was a massive queue. <laughs> um, God, really not up for that. Um, yeah, thanks very much for watching. How many likes, Chris? 500. It's a good one, it, mate. Yeah. 500. 500. How many, hang on, how many is no, how many do well, Let's go for 500. We've scored on, seven we've just, goals. Yeah, today, yeah so. seven, one, 500. Let's do it. Thanks for watching. See you later. Once upon a time, a fairy tale.